to the men's free skate. And up first, Emmanuel Sandu. Plenty of fans here to cheer on the Canadian. What a comeback win he had in the last event. At Skate Canada, he was more than 12 points off the lead after the short program. He skated to the gold medal. Right now, he's in fourth, almost six points back. Emmanuel Sandu, one of the great artists in the sport today, and also one of the best jumpers, one of the only skaters to ever beat Evgeny Pushenko in the Grand Prix event, won the Grand Prix final. But you never know which Emmanuel Sandu is going to show up. He doubled the quad in the short, and here it comes, quad, triple combination. Beautiful. Double, went quad into a double. base value points. Also strong. Very good start. And Paul, as you know from watching Sandu over the years, he starts in strong fashion. He usually carries it through the night. That's right. He said he's been getting better at making little tiny errors and keeping, keeping his focus. But when he gets on a roll, it's hard to beat him. He's got uh, incredible dance background and training. Well, a mistake there on a triple lutz, a single. Do the triple lutz. Very nice. As you know, if you're a skating fan, the Grand Prix series consists of six events across the globe. The top six in each discipline at the end of the series make it to the Grand Prix final, which is in Tokyo this year. Second triple axle into a triple toe combination. Perfect. And that's after the halfway point, so it's worth a bonus. A whopping 12.7 base value points. Triple loop, triple toe. This is lights out. Judges are looking not only at the jump elements, but also at spins, footwork, and then the components, the old artistic side of skating. Sandu excels at all of this when he's on, and he is on. said he's very proud of this program. He calls it a masterpiece. And he's really skating it like that tonight. With the difficulty of his spins and his footwork, and then quads and triple axles, triple-triple combinations, he is going to be tough to beat. 
and not just here, but also at the Olympics. We couldn't imagine a better start to an Olympic season than he's had. He's already got the 12 points for his win at Skate Canada. So really here he's trying to wrap up a spot already in the Grand Prix Final. Terrific performance here in the free skate for Emmanuel Sandu of Canada. He opened here with a quad double combination, 10.3 base value points, the reach back, very good air position. You see him on one foot, sometimes he two foots, he gets it into a double. The only mistake he made in the program, a single Lutz, he just missed his toe there. Here, triple axle, triple toe combination. Nice tight air position, right over that left side. Very good. But it's not just about the jumps for Sandu, the camel spin. Look at the, your features here. Twist his body. Now, this very interesting position, adding difficulty to that spin, a higher level. Now this twist of working on the core of the body and then the change of edge there as well. And the kissing cry now awaiting his marks. And in the new scoring system, these are the top three <laughs> marks in the free skate that we have seen. Plashenko on top of Sandu, the uh, Grand Prix final in 2004 with the second best mark. That's his personal best, 152.74. The technical elements, the program components, no deductions, 147.56. Looks like a kid in a candy store right now. Excited about these numbers, 212.66. That is a great number for Emmanuel Sandu, and that's the standard that has already been set. That'll be tough to top. And remember, he was in fourth. He's looking for another comeback. Better than 12 points back. He won at Skate Canada 